Okay, welcome to the Mega Valor tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to go over on how to get our menus to have functional buttons for the functions to actually do things. Now, I, I know I said that we're going to do this with very minimal action script, but there is minimal still means some. So, I'm not going to go over, like, I'm not going to really go over the basics of the action script language because I'm not really great at that myself. I, I, just picked up action script and I was just able to put this together really quickly. Uh, there's probably a bunch of things that could be done better, but right now it, it works. So I'm gonna leave it at that. So and the way I coded this component is that there is a function or a, there's a variable that you can assign to a function that will basically handle every time a button's pressed. And in order to do something like this, so in order to use this, you uh, basically go dm holder underscore mc dot and the dot works, dot where it works in actually the same way it works in many other languages like C++, C Sharp, Unreal Script, all that. So, uh, the thing I'm going to type in here is handle press equals, and the handle press is a variable that is actually a function. In action script, you can assign, like, variables can be functions themselves. It's kind of weird, but, yeah. So, in order to do this, uh, handle press is a function and that's going to be called automatically. And, oh, every time a button is pressed and like right here so in order to do this we can just go uh, type in function in left parenthesis and we can type in press name that's what I use for my button name and then stri uh, colon string it's weird in Unreal Script we usually go var int and the variable name or local and then the variable type and the variable name but in action script as a parameter you have to type in the variable name colon and then its type a little odd but that's what it is now Make a switch statement here. Uh, switch statements are pretty similar to any other language. And now we have this switch statement. So uh, switch and then press name. So now for the first case, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go. We named our button new game. So I'm gonna type in new game. And I'm gonna. This is a little weird. I'm gonna skip this part for now because this new game part requires. Uh, some unreal stuff to work because a new game is going to open up a level in this UI example, but that that's not very hard. But we'll do that when we do that. It's really easy. Now the next statement is the, uh, the settings button that we have going on on the main menu. So I'm going to go ahead and type settings, and I want to type in dm holder underscore mc. And I'm going to use that switch menu again that we used before, but instead of typing in main menu, I want to type in settings. And then I want to break this case, and then that should do it. So now I'm going to save Control S, and I want to test with Effects Menu Player with the Scale Form Launcher. And so here's our main menu, and here's our fly-in. I'm going to click Settings, and it's not doing anything. Why is it not doing anything? That is not cool. So let's uh, let's check our syntax here, and make sure everything is right. Ah, there's our problem. Uh, I forgot to put the S in settings, so that's why that wasn't working. Let's go ahead and test. And boom. And there it is. Let's hit settings, and then bam. Uh, rolls out. This rolls in. Well, slow, but we can change that. Now we're in our settings menu. Now these buttons are hooked, are rigged up to work yet. So let's get the exit working so we can go back to our main menu. So I'm going to go make another case block here. I'm going to go case. And we just type in the button name, case exit. And I'm going to go dm holder underscore mc dot switch to menu, main menu. And then I want to hit break, save that. Then I want to test it again. And now we have our main menu, new game settings exit. Hit, click uh, settings. Boom, goes to our settings. And all this, all this animation stuff already happened. We don't have to worry about any of this. We can click uh, exit. Goes back to our main menu. So easy. No, there's really hardly any action script here. I mean, the action script that we just typed in. By looking at this, you can figure out what's going on. So, oops. Uh, oh, my other video is done rendering. Awesome. So, really easy. Now the exit button is not going to work here. We have to break that for Unreal Script 2 because that quits the game and new game. But uh, there are some stuff we can do to get settings for this uh, this resolution. We can have it actually change resolution, have it display the current resolution you're on. So in order to do that, we have to add some more code. Now, uh, 
there's another component or another class that we haven't seen yet and that's called the settings manager and in order to use that um, there's, there's a lot of tutorials out there about action script and how to import packages and whatnot but just know that you have to put this line here import and then com dot settings manager uh, just type this in here and that's basically like a like an include file in any other language but in action script it's import and I'm not going to go over that too much but just uh, just put that in there and that gives us access to the setting manager class the setting manager class is the class that I wrote that manages all our settings for our game and things like that so in order to use that let's go ahead and just create a new variable you have to start things with var like unreal script actually just put that var there and we'll just I'm going to type in settings manager lowercase s and I'm going to put a colon here and I'm going to type in settings manager because this variable is of type settings manager unlike on real script it goes colon and then variable type now I know I kind of made a I guess this is a bad variable naming convention but uh it just makes sense to name a setting manager but with lowercase that way it's just that's what it is um yeah and um we have to assign this to a new instance of setting manager so in order to do that we just go equals and I go new settings manager just like that cool now we have to tell the settings manager in order for the resolution text to work to we have to tell it where the resolution button is in order to change the text to that button accordingly that's just the built-in settings manager function so in order to do that we're going to type in settings manager and it's got this variable called resolution text and that's a text field I'm not going to go too much on what a text field is. It's a basic component of Flash, and I'm going to go equal as dm holder I get button mc. That's short for I get button movie clip. Once again, that's uh, basically what we're doing is we're grabbing the object that represents like the actual button of the of our resolution button. That way we can access the uh, text element of it, but you know, this isn't about this sort of isn't about actually script too much. So I'll just follow along and uh, it'll make sense later. I'll, I'll post videos about action script and how to get this all working and how to build this yourself and the code part but that's not this tutorial. So get button MC it takes two parameters. It takes the first parameter is the menu that of the button that, that you want to access and then it's the uh, the button name. As you remember from earlier we named our button resolution. So we can go ahead and put that there. Now that gets the, uh, the button object itself which is a movie clip. But inside that movie clip, it's got this. It's got a text field in it, and that text field is called text field. So we're just going to type in, type in dot text field here. And now this basically we're grabbing the text field out of the button movie clip in the, uh, which is the resolution button in the menu in the settings thing that's inside the dynamic menu holder and setting that to our settings manager resolution. It's a little complex, but just just bear with me there and everything will make sense later on and with that being said we can now uh, let's we can now update our resolution text and we have to do that well we have to do that at least once that way uh, the button just gets updated because there's nothing else calling or nothing else changing that button right now so we can do that by settings manager dot update resolution text just like that that updates the resolution text and what is the resolution text well I'll show you what the resolution text is. Let's just go ahead and test this. And let's go to our settings menu. And you'll see nothing. Why did that? Get button MC on invalid object. Okay. I forgot the underscore MC after this DM holder. My bad. Let's go ahead and put that there. And let's rebuild this. Let's test our settings menu again. And there, there's our resolution text. See, it says resolution 640 by 40. Right now, that resolution is wrong, but uh, but it's there, and that's working. So that's cool. That's cool. So once we got uh, that's working. Now we got to get the resolution button to actually, you know, do something. So let's go ahead and work on that now.